everyone. Nutrition is Deepa here. Uh, thank you for joining and hope all is well. Uh, well, you know, last three months I have been uh, talking to you guys about vitamin D3, vitamin C, uh, mindfulness, uh, eating well, going plant-based, all kinds of advice, uh, including standing on your head, looking at the sun, uh, anything to keep us healthy. Um, uh, uh, during this time, I have interviewed uh, what gardener, expert gardener, a cardiologist, a naturopath, you know, to, to help us out uh, get through this crisis uh, and, and keep us healthy. However, today, I, uh, I want you guys really to go and get a drink of your choice, okay? Uh, alcohol would be really good, you know, uh, so probably sure, preferred, probably preferred today, guys, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm in, on a, in a, in a different uh, mood today. So get a, get a drink, get comfortable than you already are. So just change into another sweatpant or sweatshirt or pajamas or what have you. And sit tight on your chairs because there's a small chance that you may fall off the chair <laughs> during, during, this, um, during this episode, okay? And I'm not going to be liable for that. It, it's all on your own, drinking and sitting tight. That's your responsibility. Uh, uh, no, no damages would be, uh, would be paid by me, okay? So, I'm saying all these things because I have a special guest here today and uh, that, and his name is Mr. Jason McNeil. So Mr. Jason McNeil, welcome to Nutrition is Deepa's podcast episode. How are you today? I am doing great and thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to it. Oh, uh, no, thank you. And uh, your team, I believe you are bringing a team of uh, two of your team members. Uh, however, I don't see them here. Are they yeah, here? I do. And uh, I'm embarrassed to say they are late, believe it or not. And oh. uh, they, okay. they'll, they'll be here soon. So I don't want you okay. to be too All worried. Right. We'll be able to get them okay. on. I know that uh, you wanted to talk to me for a little bit first, which right. is great. But I think you'll see my team members will really have a lot to influence everyone with. All right. So, um, uh, Jason, I was looking at your your uh, portfolio, your bio, and it seems you have two very flourishing careers: one as an IT consultant, and yes. one as a as a comedian at uh, this gig called Hilarity Gram. Uh, so Graham. you are a stand-up comedian. With, yes. All right. So give us give us a little bit of your journey into into that life. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, been involved in comedy for the past twenty years, hmm. uh, whether that be stand up, improv, or sketch comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I'm also married with four beautiful daughters. Yes. And so I do have a career in uh, the managed IT services as a hmm. consultant. Hmm. with the Gordon Flush Company. That's obviously uh, uh, my main source of income in, in my career, uh, but comedy will be with me the rest of my life, and I know I'll be doing that in some way or form, some way, in some form, uh, even if it's as a hobby. So uh, really appreciate you letting me on here to have some fun with Hilarity Graham. You can go to the website at hilaritygram.com, uh, but now is there there's not more of an important time to laugh at a time like this right with uh absolutely with with covid 19 and the pandemic i mean there's a lot of stressful situations and we all know uh when we laugh we feel better so absolutely uh, that's why i just kind of figured it would this would be a good fit for us to have a little chat absolutely and uh to our audience so as you may have guessed today we are going to talk about laughter as medicine Right. Um, another uh, subject that is uh, extremely important for our soul and our mind and our body. And really, uh, laughter brings a lot of positivity, a lot of positive energy. Right. So, That's right. Uh, 
so I want to ask you a question while you while your team is joining us I, I, yeah. I don't see them on zoom yet maybe um, they are I'm sure they are on their way um, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you tell us the um, from comedians point of view as to how do we uh, you know when you're going through a pandemic like this or I remember 9-11 tragedy you know it was very hard mm -hmm. for the late night show hosts to kind of stand up there and and get people to laugh so mm -hmm. what is your kind of insight on how do how should we make time to laugh when we there's so much uncertainty and so much going on with jobs and health and uh, everything around us well probably the best way i can sum that up is something i heard a long time ago and what it is is time plus tragedy equals comedy or hilarity for that matter. Um, and I think that's a good way to look at it. You know, I'm sure once this is all over, we're going to have plenty to laugh about and joke about on all the different things that we've done. But what we have to remember is while we're in it to make sure that we uh, keep that sense of humor, uh, keep things as light as possible and realize that, um, it's a great time to just be happy or alive, right? I mean, it, it, I'm sure everyone that's listening on this call and everyone that you know thinks about this often and it, it puts us in a place where we have some time to reflect and, and look at our life and say, wow, you take a lot of things for granted. Oh, for sure. Uh, no, that's, uh, that's, that's, so, that's so true. And this whole thing has made, made us more humble, more grateful. And I think we have even uh, understood the importance of laughing, really. Yeah, so, absolutely. So uh, now that being said, I think uh, I just got a text from your life coach, Larry, that he's he's having a bit of oh, a yeah. trouble. So is he oh, here? He, I think he's here. Yeah, you know what? I, he's at my door. Let me go. Let me go check real quick. Give me a second, oh, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. So uh, audience, while Jason... Uh, is getting his uh, his team members he has two team members one is the life coach larry and the other one is uh, is a registered nurse registered uh, uh, nurse uh, J, uh, jim so we have a really good team here of a rn jim and life coach larry and uh, along with jason i think we are going to get some really good advice on uh, on on laughter as medicine and as well as um, you know some some health and wellness related uh, related tips to uh, to take us into this phase two of covid 19. okay how did this and thing work did this work hey how, how are you, you? yes hey deep I, i've heard a lot about you i know we didn't get really a chance to talk too much but no. Gosh, it's great to see you and, oh. and be a part of this thing. It's <laughs> life is great, isn't it? Oh, it's it's been interesting journey, um, uh, Larry. I'm so glad that you were yeah. able to that you were able to join. I heard so much about you from Jason, and Jason said, "Deepa, when in when there's a tough time, Larry, the life coach, is a person to go to." That's so, right. I've been working with Jason for a long time. That's for sure. Oh, cool. So, Larry, what do you think about what's going on? I mean, you know, a lot of people are hurting and having so much trouble, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, drink a lot. That's what I would do. Uh, All right. I would definitely say that's a good thing to do uh, to make you feel better anyways. Yes. So, uh, yeah. And uh, any, any ideas for those who don't drink alcohol? Because, you know, we do see a lot of patients with diabetes and oh, uh, anything. I would say uh, maybe you should start. Oh, you should start. I think Maybe that's... start drinking. Yeah, I never, I never thought about it. I always call myself, hey, you know, I don't drink, but I never thought of, uh, um, of starting. Well, to Deepa, if you get on my program, we'll get you drinking before you know it. Oh, I see. So you have a program, huh? Is it? Oh yes, like absolutely. A, can you can you give us a, a little bit of? A, a, sure. So it's all about yeah. loving yourself. I mean, really, isn't that what life's all about? You just yeah. have to love yourself. Yes, and uh, 
that's interesting so uh, so is it fair for me to say that during this time you have continued with your life and uh, uh, so do you also drink to get through oh abs i'm drunk right now as a matter of fact oh is that is that why you were late yeah it has something to do with it i couldn't find my way here i was on a i was on a tricycle oh <laughs> Tricycle, I see. Well, I thought that, you know, Zoom meeting will be easy for you and you won't have to you know, leave your house. Um, yes, well, I mean, it's you got to get around somehow around here. That's right. That's right. So um, do you have any any ideas for those of us who are working from, uh, working from home and, you know, these continuous Zoom meetings and Oh my God, I'm I'm kind of getting. I just want. I'm, I feel I'm zoomed out a bit. Um, I can yeah. completely understand, and I do have a couple different ideas. Okay. Uh, obviously, you're in the house with the same people, right? Yeah. yeah. What you have to do is figure out how to prank them. You have mm -hmm. to prank them, and 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 that'll at least get you to laugh, even if it may hurt them emotionally or physically. Oh, I see. I see. So, uh, and then I can, I guess, <laughs> use the same strategy with my colleagues or when I'm talking to my patients that I can prank them, like, you know. Trick them. Gonna... That's what I would do. I would trick them. Oh, I see. So that's it how builds, you your sanity. It builds rapport. And uh, I think it'll be really good. I see. I see. Um, uh, you know, a lot of people are losing their jobs and you know, it's been stressful, Larry. How, how are yes. you dealing with it? Well, luckily, I still have a job. Uh, I only have one client, Jason, but, um, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's hard. I know, I know. I, those that have lost their job and are on this call, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, but just hang in there and, and know that you just have a, have a good attitude, and eventually you'll get where you're going. You'll get where I you need to go. I see. So you are saying that, so it looks like uh, you're saying that drink alcohol and you will almost forget. What, That's what's a great happening. idea. I like that. Deepa, you're really starting to get what I'm coming from. I, I, I guess I've, I've already enrolled in your program. Yes. You know? Yes. So, and uh, maybe we can bring you on over here. <laughs> That's right. Maybe there will be a collaboration with with Nutrition is Deepa and uh, Larry, the life coach. Yes, I love it. So Larry- it sounds like a match made in heaven to me. Well, we will definitely end up in heaven with yes. this approach. Um, so can you, Larry, I forgot to ask you who, what school you went to, to-, to uh, You know what? There's some things that uh, I like to keep private and that is, one of them. Oh, so you're okay. So your uh, credentials are hidden, I guess. That's um, as a life coach. I think that's important to hide your credentials. Oh, interesting, interesting. And uh, do you have any testimonials, any patients, or any customers that you can uh, that you know you can give example of, or somebody whom you have helped, and that person has come out you know happy and healthy on the other side um unfortunately a large percentage of my clients uh were not on talking terms oh. <laughs> all right i guess you it's all their fault not my fault of course don't i mean just yeah. understand that it's not me it's them oh i see that's another good life lesson i'm learning as i yes. talk to you you know, yes, that, if you want to, if you want to do well, you got to stick with me. But if you can't hack it, then you're going to leave and probably never talk to me again. All right. Okay. I mean, that's another good strategy for me. Uh, when I'm talking to my patients, if they're not doing well, I guess I should just say, hey, my life coach taught me just to blame yourself. That's it's right. Their fault. It's their fault. Interesting. Yes. Blame them. Blame Always them. blame. <laughs> don't take responsibility oh that's interesting you'll be much happier all right uh, oh my god larry i didn't know you are such a 
so much uh, uh, knowledge you have about life and how to deal with tragedies, I guess. Yes, you know? I'm your guy. Oh boy. Uh, Larry, is there a, like, if, I don't know if anybody will, but if there is anyone wants to talk to you or get in touch with you, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I mean, you know. Please give them my information. They're more than, I would be more than happy to talk to them and see if they would be a good fit for my organization. Oh, I see. Um, I am actually not sure if anybody will, but I will definitely, you know, keep your uh, name on, 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 on the file and, uh, Oh I God. can definitely give you my uh, virtual business card for you to hand out to everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That would be nice. Uh, and I can always ask Jason where to find you. Oh, yes. He's usually, he's the only one that still talks to me. Correct. That's, that's interesting as to why, if you're so good, why you don't have, uh, you know, too many people, too many followers, but, hmm. Yeah. Mystery. That's a mystery to me. Um, uh, now, uh, uh, Larry, do you also work with with uh, Nurse Jim that is in Jason's uh, team or? Uh, so we don't necessarily work together. We do have a friendship uh, oh. that we do, you know, we'll hang out and have some beers together. <laughs> or, you know, just, you know, <laughs> crack some jokes. Okay, all right, cool. But he's, I think he's here somewhere. Oh, he's here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Would you mind uh, calling him? Because I, I mean, the information that you gave us about how to deal with this work-life balance yes. uh, is, is interesting. I'm, um, I'm going to say, uh, do you have any parting? Well, thank you. Anything you want uh, people to do? What I would say to them is just make sure that you realize you have to take your life not so serious, right? I mean, laugh a little bit. It's yeah. okay. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. All right. Okay, Larry, I believe in you. Uh, except the alcohol part and kind of blaming others and, you know, hurting others. Uh, if I ignore well, that advice, I think... To each his own, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, if I, if I don't, uh, if my life doesn't go the way I want it to be, it's my fault that I didn't listen to you. See, exactly. You know so, it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So uh, let's see if... Uh, Let if, me see if I can get Nurse Jim over here. Give me one second. Let me go hunt him down for you. Not, not a problem. Nice meeting you and thank you. So, guys, <laughs> as, as you can see, we had... Uh, Life Coach Larry here, who is part of uh, Jason's uh, Hilarity Gram team. And um, hmm, I don't know, he gave, us, uh, he gave us advice to drink, start drinking if you are not drinking and uh, drink more. So that is in that while he's gone, I'm going to say, please don't do that. Okay, please don't do that. We will stick to our kombucha and our water and our teas, and we will, uh, I won't tell Larry that we kind of not following his advice, okay? So, uh, but it's important to have a life coach, just not like Larry that, that we just saw. Uh, hey, Deep, are you there? Oh, hello, Jim. Uh, I How can't see, you? can you see me okay? No, I can't see you. Yeah, let me figure this out here. All right. Um, okay, I think I. Oh, hey. Yeah, I got. Hey, you. how are you? Oh, doing well, Jim. Long yeah. time to see. It has been a long time. Correct. Yeah. So what's going on? You must be extremely busy. Real busy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. It's nice to have my face mask off for just a few minutes, anyways. Oh wow. What do you oh. think about this face mask, face mask stuff? Uh, you know, it's uncomfortable. That's what I think. <laughs> For sure. Uh, guys, before I go on, I want to introduce uh, our nurse, uh, Jim. Nurse here. Jim, yeah. yeah. Can you tell us where you work and what do you do? And uh, 
all the good stuff and absolutely so uh i went to college and um uh i, I was planning on being a football player and mm -hmm. unfortunately i got cut from the team oh. uh, so i thought i would maybe do better as a doctor then so oh. uh, i went to school for to be a doctor and and oh. you know i'll just be honest with you it was a little too difficult for me so was it? Uh, I still love people and and uh, you know uh, I, I decided to just become a nurse I, I you know it was no easy thing no easy task don't get me wrong but yeah um, it was a little less schooling that it took yeah. for the, instead of being a doctor so I thought you know well, what the heck okay all right and are you are you working for any hospital right now or I mean what you up to yeah okay uh, and what department do you work at or uh, uh i work in uh i just kind of i'm kind of what they call a floater so i just kind of float around wherever they need me well, you uh, are okay. pick up the slack that's what kind of guy i am i pick up the slack oh interesting okay yeah um and then um uh, how how is the situation at your workplace with this covid19 uh, how have you been affected have you have you tested yourself because you work with in the house? Yes, hospital? and I have, and I, I'm happy to say I've uh, tested negative every time. Hmm. Uh, that darn thing jamming up my nose, though, is not a pleasant feeling. But yeah. hey, uh, we're, we're doing good. It's it's absolutely crazy over there, as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, everyone's in good spirits, and and so it's good. I see. Awesome. Um, that's good to know that you are uh, neg COVID negative. Now, uh, are you follow or do you follow life coach Larry's advice at all? <laughs> I mean, uh, not all of it. I mean, as you probably saw, he's kind of an interesting life coach, but oh, for sure. I definitely agree with the drinking for sure. Oh gosh, okay. So you are into drink. You are a nurse. Yeah. And you're into not drink. while I'm working, of course. Oh, cool. Thank God. Yeah. Your patients are thanking you for that. Well, I, I would imagine exactly. that wouldn't be good. So, um, uh, Jim, uh, give us a few tips as to anything from the CDC that you have learned that we haven't learned yet, because you know you are in healthcare. Uh, yeah. So I'm sure you have more insight into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say, you know, it's pretty simple to me. Hmm. Just be responsible. Okay. okay. Uh, stay six feet away. Okay. Be careful. Realize that anyone could be infected. Okay. And go about your business. Okay. Stop talking smack about this or that and just realize life is going to be okay. All right. Cool. And uh, anything, if I'm taking care of uh, anything about nutrition, anything you think? Absolutely. Uh, brats, burgers, oh. and, uh, and beer. I mean, that's kind of what I've been living on. Oh, I see. I oh, and if and I apologize, hmm. I know that you're a vegetarian, so I would just say instead of uh, brats and burgers, go with uh, I don't know coleslaw and, and and celery, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm glad that you know that uh, what vegetarians eat. I mean, yeah, coleslaw, right? Coleslaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I can, but uh, I I don't think that's the best best thing to have. Oh. I mean, well, I don't know a whole lot about that. That's your, uh, that's in your realm there. That's right. But I was just thinking you being a nurse, uh, probably they are teaching you a thing or two about, about nutrition or probably you are picking up on some of that knowledge. But yeah. Oh yeah. Not. Yeah. Okay. I don't necessarily follow it, but I know all about it. Oh, you know all about it. So uh, yeah. you are saying that, uh, hot dogs and, um, alcohol and beer and uh, yeah brats and burgers and beer yeah brats. oh brats and burgers and beers i'm sorry i yeah. said hot dogs hot okay. dogs are fine hot dogs are fine yeah cool okay um anything you can uh, you can tell us about uh, you know uh, any breakthrough with vaccination has, has you Are know, you close to Dr. Fauci or, you know, uh, CDC? Do you talk I, to any one of them? Do you hear anything from them? I haven't talked to Dr. Fauci since 1982. It's been a long time. <laughs> uh, 
but I'm, you know, he seems like a nice enough guy. Intelligent. Did you guys go to the same school or what? I believe we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. He he knows about uh, the same amount of information I know about nutrition. Uh, oh, you know. yeah. okay. I I see. I see. Uh, would you call yourself pretty healthy? I mean, have you uh, have you stayed healthy, or you have had cough, cold, anything like that? Or? I have, yeah, so far so good. I I have for the most part stayed completely healthy. Uh, no no issues with with uh, with any coughs or uh, sickness of any sort. So that's good. Oh, that's good. I mean, considering you are eating, uh, you know, not so healthy food. Yeah, well, right. I should be eating a lot more vegetables. You yeah. know all that better than I. Right. Uh, I. I love vegetables. I just, you know, I think it's just for like a like a while while I'm shelter in place while I'm stuck at home. I just like to eat the brats and burgers. Maybe I'll go back to veggies and chicken and and uh, you know, lima water. beans, water. water. Yeah. Water's overrated, though, isn't it? Really? Oh, water is overrated. I see. I see. Hmm. Yeah. Who I wouldn't it? agree with it, but you know, you know, you are you are the health you are in uh, you are a healthcare professional. Yeah. Too, you know? Yeah. Whatever. Different oh. strokes for different folks, you know. Oh, interesting. That's how you practice medicine, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, so yeah. Uh, Anything, anything that we should uh, really, uh, what's, what would be your take home message since you are a nurse and this is the first time I'm, I'm interviewing a nurse on my podcast. Anything you want to uh, uh, give us yes. sense about, about COVID-19 or beyond? Uh, we also heard that a lot of people are gaining weight. It's called COVID-15. Any I, yeah, I highly recommend the COVID-15. Oh, you recommend COVID-15? Yeah, I would say it's a good idea to throw on 15 pounds. Oh. It'll make you feel better. Oh, I see, I see. It's your coping strategy. Yes, yes. I see. Give up, that's my thought, give up. Oh, give up, I see. Well, it's interesting. I definitely see that you have had at least few sessions with life coach Larry. Yeah. Oh, well, if, uh, if you're talking, having a couple beers over a zoom meeting is uh, a session, then yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I know, uh, Jim, you had told me that you, you, you have very short amount of time yes. to, to spend with us and you are in between your shifts or what are your shifts? I mean, are you heading back to work or? Yeah. I, I said, I just, as a matter of fact, was able to get a nice 20 minute break so I can come over here and have a chat with you. Oh, I see. Well, I'm so grateful uh, that you found time to, to, uh, to come and, and talk to my audience, you know, between you and uh, Larry, I think uh, their life is screwed if you ask me. So. Well, I'll tell you, Deepa, it was my pleasure. All to right. let you have me on the show. I really appreciate it. No, no problem, uh, uh, Jim. I wish you the best. Uh, please go back and put your mask on. I know it's yes. comfortable. Oh, it was nice having that thing off for a minute. Yes, I'm sure. And uh, shall I say go cure COVID-19? I mean, are, are you working? Yeah, I, that's what I'm after. We'll, get, that... a, we'll get it cured. Oh, okay. Give me a couple more days. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, have yep. you done anything? I mean, what do you think where the cure is? <laughs> With me, uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but uh, I just feel confident, right? It's, it's, uh, it's more about a, a frame of mind. Oh, I see. So we should all think that cure is just two days away. Yeah, a couple days. A couple of days. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, Jim. Uh, I will let you go then. Um, I'm going do you to want get, me to put Jason back on or, or? Yeah, I do want to get Jason back on. I, I would like to talk to him just briefly. Uh, but again, uh, thank you, Jim, for uh, coming on to the show today. Uh, yeah. I will, uh, let's keep in touch, you know, maybe 
I will uh, have a session with you about like real nutrition and what you should be doing. Yeah, so, maybe you can help me. I'm I'm up I'm up for listening to anything. Absolutely. I see. I mean, as long as you are okay uh, eating some vegetables and you know, I don't know if you eat chia and kale. Are you familiar? Yeah. With ingredients. Okay. I, I haven't tried it all, but I'm I'm willing to. Oh, you're willing to. That's good. Yeah. That's the first step. You know, I'm glad Absolutely. you're willing to. So maybe next time we can meet in our office. Uh, but make sure you know you are wearing your mask and you are kind yes. of yes and all that yes. stuff. Okay, awesome. So I will let you go, Jim. Uh, thank you, and uh, I will talk to Jason now. Okay. Okay. Let me go see if I can find him. Very nice to meet you, Deepa. Same here. Thank you. So guys, <laughs> this was Nurse Jim. All right. And they both are from this hilarity gram. And as you can see, Jim didn't know what the hell he was talking about, you know? So, but my, my advice today is going to be, let's not listen to uh, life coach Larry and our nurse Jim. I don't think they have credentials to say anything about uh, COVID-19 or <laughs> anything about life in general, I would say. So we would stick to Jason <laughs> and then his advice. Boy, Jason, you had some interesting characters. Yes, I know they're not the uh, most knowledgeable when it comes to <laughs> nutrition and health and uh, well-being, but, but what I like fun to talk to. What I like about them, they are very confident. Yes, <laughs> that is true. False so, confidence can go a long way sometimes, I suppose. That's that's good. So, uh, no, really, this was awesome. Okay. Oh, I had such a great time. And yes. uh, I'm sure my, my teammates did as well. Yes, no, I'm, I'm so glad you were able to pull them from their busy schedules. Yes. And God knows what they're doing. <laughs> yes. You know, they appeared very busy, but really not doing anything, but that's okay. Yep. Um, so, uh, Jason, as a comedian, give us, give us your insight, give us uh, your uh, take home message for us. Anything to do with. You know, it'll, it'll kind of be what I said at the, the start of the show. And it's, uh, don't take yourself so seriously. Enjoy your sense of humor and those around you's sense of humor, and uh, live life a little bit lighter. Don't be so critical. Yes, yes. We 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 tend to get ourselves into a spiral almost. Yes. You know, through our thinking, and um, and uh, that's where the uh, laughing comedy comedians jokes even those knock knock jokes are pretty hilarious absolutely yes they are so uh those things come into play um no i was so glad that i i found you through through maureen uh, and uh, me too you agreed to come on the show and bring your characters uh so once this COVID-19 is over, where can we find you? Where uh, do you do? You know, you can things? just go to uh, hilaritygram.com. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my contact information is there. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, I do voicemails for birthdays or anniversaries. Uh, I can also do uh, a video, a, a customized video. And uh, hopefully once, once we're all able to see each other, I, I've done where I can come in and just do a, a five minute uh, quick hilarity gram, which is just coming in and wishing someone a happy birthday. Okay. Uh, but I also can do what's called a hilarity gram group where I come in for a party for two to three hours and just kind of mingle around in the crowd as, as a specific character. Cool. No, that is really awesome. Such a much needed service, just like healthcare. You know, uh, we we should have a laughing clinics. You know, I know there are la laughter yes. clubs. Uh, I've seen it in in Asia. I hope we have uh, 
we have like laughing clinics here as well. Uh, but again, thank you for your time and uh, we'll be in touch. That sounds great. Thank you, Deepa. Thank you.